Welcome back, everybody. We got something special for you this week as the cast and crew here want to see our top drivers go up against the current mainline review champ, Jimmy Pinkeye, in that Jaguar. It's Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proving Grounds mainline review. There they are. And they brought their own custom-built rides. There's Kowalski. There's Cindy Sixpack. She's got the Daytona. Kowalski's got that Challenger. Going head-to-head to get a shot at that Jag. Vehicles. M2 Machines 69 Dodge Daytona. M2 Machines casting, it's got opening doors, opening up hood there. It was a custom build for Cindy Sixpack, and it's got the Hot Wheels faster than ever wheels. Green Light 70 Dodge Challenger RT. From the Green Light Hollywood series, yes, this is the Vanishing Point 1970 Challenger, and we got the Hot Wheels FTEs under it as well, Kowalski's main ride. They are up against the Igloo main track. It is the centerpiece here at the Igloo Proving Grounds multi-manufacturer, multi-surfaced with the 3D bot maker corner coming down through the bottom, stretching into our flatbed landing zone. Race one. All right, let's get this on the road. We got the Challenger near lane, Daytona out there on the far lane. We got the two in-house drivers, Challenger versus Cindy Six Pack. There they go, they're down. And they're just rubbing paint all the way through the door handle. The door handle, Kowalski's well, getting all backwards, blocking Cindy Six Pack, and he backs over the top of the line. He tries to back onto a flatbed. What a great way to start this night right there. And it's going to be the Challenger that wins this one. There's the Daytona Cindy Six Pack in there. There's Kowalski up on the top shelf, hanging off the edge right there you can see he's just slamming the door on the Daytona not letting her get past and backs over top of the line right there we got uh the jump cam he pretty much fell off the edge of the ramp there 12 centimeters Cindy's getting 17 centimeters in the Daytona all right igloo replay let's check this out coming down the main stretch they're even that's just door handle to door handle then they're rubbing paint all the way through the crash racers corner they are side by side they want a shot at Jimmy Pinkup in that Jaguar and they're fighting for it right there. Right there, Kowalski gets all silly and sideways and just starts blocking. Cindy Sixpack can't find the way through and he's just got it in reverse. Full blast because that's what he does and goes for the flatbed finish backwards. Always ready to put on a show. That was Kowalski in the 70 Challenger RT. 10.27 time with a 12 centimeter jump. Race, Race two. two. All right, going with the lane switch this time. We got the Daytona near lane, the Challenger far lane. Here they go. This time we got the Challengers out front just by a nose all the way down there through the Crash Racers corner, still side by side. And Cindy gets way out front and is holding on to it. She's got her doors open. She slammed the door on Kowalski on that bottom corner. And she gets the win this time with 11.25. They were scrubbing paint and smashing back and forth all the way through that race, folks. There's the Challenger and there's the winner this round. Cindy six pack in the Daytona right there you can see she's way ahead over top of the jump and then cuts Kowalski right off into the rail almost puts him on his lid but they were able to drive her out of that one folks here we go the jump cam she comes through 18 centimeters in the Daytona Kowalski's coming through 16 centimeters in the Challenger that time Igloo replay. Let's check out how this one worked out. You can see Kowalski goes for a jump off to start and that Challenger and Cindy Sixpack slowly starts to pull it back. They get into that corner, start rubbing door handle to door handle. They're side by side and then Cindy just slams the door. Then she throws open her door and then she's blowing it around the corner there. Kowalski's catching up and then she slams the door on him again right there into the rail. A little too slow for the cameraman and then they catch up. Over top of the line, it's Cindy Sixpack in the Daytona, Kowalski in the Challenger in that order. Getting all squirrely down here off to the line at the end of that race. That means it's going to be the Daytona this time with 11.25 and an 18 centimeter jump. And that is going to tie it up one race apiece. That means we are going into the third race. Race three. Lane switch once again, we've got the Challenger near lane, Daytona on the far lane, just like the first time, here we go again, and there, neck and neck down the first run, Challenger is getting out front this time, and he's trying to hold on to it, Cindy's on the rail, and he's still holding on to it, he's slamming the door all the way, and he's going to get it, that's two races for the Challenger right there, Cindy gives him a bump at the end, Kowalski's going to get the shot in that Challenger, there's the Daytona right there, awesome looking casting, and then there's that Challenger, he's the winner of this race, he gets the two 
out of three and going to get the shot at Jimmy Pinkai in the Jaguar. There it is over top of the line. Great stuff. Let's go check out the jump cam. Look at that shot. That looks familiar, doesn't it? 13 centimeters for the... Both of them, Challenger and the Daytona, both hitting the mark at the same spot there. That looked like it was rated of a movie. Ha! <laughs> Anyways, Igloo Replay, there we go. Coming down in the slow-mo, neck and neck. Challenger's pulling out and then just able to cut up in front of the Daytona. Coming down the mid-stretch, the Daytona is fighting. Cindy Sixpack wants to get around. She's not giving up the spot easy. Ends up getting on the rail. Gets them both a little slowed down, but then Kowalski in that. Challenger just hammers it over top of the line. Holding on to bouncing off the rail. They're both down there over top of the finish line at the end. Putting on an excellent show. These two know the track. They know their cars. And they were just going head-to-head -head all out this time. But it's going to be the Challenger. 11.45 time. A 13-centimeter jump. But that's going to give him the two out of three. And so he is going to get a shot at the Mainline Review Champ. Checking out the green light skyline up there on the podium this week. Folks, you can help out the channel by setting your notification bell to all notifications. And you know what? Smash that like button because that helps the algorithm. And that means you will see us more. And then there is the super thanks option down there. That's a new thing YouTube's doing for the creators. And you can help out the channel. Believe it. Hot Wheels Jaguar XL220 driven by Jimmy Pinkai going up against the Challenger Green Light with the FTEs driven by in-house driver Kowalski. Head-to-head -head time. Let's see how this one works out. Race one. Here we go. We got Jimmy Pinkai on the far lane. We got our in-house driver Kowalski. He had to fight for this race. And there they go. Challenger versus the Jaguar. The Jaguar's way out front. Hot Wheels is getting an advantage already. He's way nose up on that jump. And Kowalski gives him a bump at the end. They're all over the place. And it's going to be Jimmy Pinkai by a bumper. After he got knocked around by Kowalski, that car is bigger and heavier. And it was able to knock that Jaguar off course. But he was still able to hold on to it over top of the line. Great stuff there. You see bouncing around and then boom, right there. He gets spun around. Kowalski gave him a pit maneuver over top of the line and he was still able to keep the block on. There we go. 17 centimeters for the Jaguar, 15 centimeters for the Challenger. Jag was all tail heavy coming through there. Here we go with the Igloo replay. Jimmy Pinkai in that Jaguar pulled it off race number one already up against the Challenger. He's almost had a full car length coming off the first stretch and then by the time they get down the midsection over top of the jump he's got over a car length trying to hold on to it through the 3d pop maker corner and that's when kowalski catches up to him gives him a bump and is trying to get around almost gets around at the last second but instead he ends up bumping jimmy over the line by a bumper jimmy gets it in that jaguar race number one with an 11.38 time race, race two, two. Lane switch time, folks. We got Jimmy on the inside. We got Kowalski on the outside. Jaguar up against Challenger. Race number two. Here we go. They've got the Jaguar. He's way out front. And he's coming down the main stretch. Way out front still. He's holding on to it. He's going fast. And he is on his lid just at the line. Right last second. Gets a 10.01 time and a smack at the end from Kowalski as he comes over the line backwards. Just a few times there. There's that Challenger. Great run by that car tonight. And there's Jimmy on his lid. Looks like he was just at the last second he rolled it on the rail but still he was car and driver over top of the line just like nascar and the rest of them we will count that check out the jaguar coming in a 25 centimeter jump there's the jump for the day challenger stretching it at 22 centimeters right there they were both all out for that jump that time igloo replay let's check this out for the final race jimmy pink eye pulling out by the end of the bottom stretch got a full car length gets a clear cut right up in front of that challenger and is still full blast all the way down through the mid stretch and then gets it over top of the 3d bot maker corner you see kowalski back there he loses it, blows it around, and Jimmy just barely holds on over top of the line, but he gets it with a great time, 10.01 time, and then gets a bump at the end there from Kowalski. There you go. Jimmy remains the mainline champ, and he is going to keep the title and the bragging rights. There he is. He gets the two out of three, folks. Nice job done from the integrated racing science sponsor, Jimmy Pinkai, in that 
Jaguar XJ220. There it is, folks. Great fun today. That was the in-house drivers with their personal cars wanting to have a shot just for bragging rights there. And this car is a legend. One of the Hot Wheel staples. There's the green light challenger. Great looking casting. Great looking job done on that. And then they got the Daytona Dodge Daytona. Sister ship to the Superbird. All right, there we go. And there's going to wrap it up for this episode this week, folks, of the Mainline Review here at the Igloo Brew grounds thank you very much all for checking out our stuff as usual and a big track shout out to all of you good folks from beaverworks diecast racing we will see you next time